Welcome to this online tutorial on the Healthcare Public Policy Database. The Healthcare Public Policy Database is only open to all GS1 global members and GS1 member organizations. Simple, to the point and easy to find updated regulatory requirements on pharmaceuticals and medical devices received from GS1's worldwide network of over 110 member organizations and global GS1 healthcare members. The main benefit for manufacturers is that they can quickly find information about the latest recommendations set in the country where they would like to sell their products, and hence make sure that the products are compliant with the regulatory requirements. Finally, all documents are translated in English to enable easy understanding for everybody. To access this valuable database, you need to be a GS1 Global Member or a GS1 Member Organization and register on the GS1 Healthcare Public Policy Database homepage. So, let's see how to use the database. As you can see, there are three different search methods. The first is Browse Database, the second is Advanced Search, and the third is Document Library. Below these, you will also find the five most recently updated files. Let's start with Browse the Database. To do so, we simply click on the icon. As you can see, here is the list of all relevant regulatory requirements which are kept up to date. You can browse through these requirement database by either sorting by country, product type, or by last update. Alternatively, you could run a specific search by country. In this case, we will type in South Korea and then click on the search button. Each file contains general information about the specific country, the contact of the authority, and most importantly, a summary of the regulatory requirements for that country and product type. Finally, you can also find all the official documents published, such as regulations, directives, and guidelines. Now let's look at the second method, which is the advanced search. In case you're looking for something specific, such as the requirement for secondary packaging in Denmark, you can run the following query, which I will demonstrate. From the drop-down list, I select country Denmark, then click add. And then again, from the drop-down menu, I select packaging level. Then from the second drop-down menu, I select secondary packaging and click add. And finally, I run the query by clicking the button. The results of your query now appear below. Let's take a second example where we want to see which countries use 2D GS1 data matrix. To do so, please select data carrier from the drop-down list and from the second drop-down list, 2D barcode GS1 data matrix and click add. Once you are happy with your selection, Submit the query and you will see that your results are presented below. Finally, let's take a look at the third search method, which is the document library. As you can see, in this case, there is no search field as the countries are displayed alphabetically with all the regulations and supporting documents attached to their file. As a GS1 member organization, you can modify the file directly and click on the Suggestion for Modification button at the top of each page. As a global GS1 healthcare member, you can suggest updates by sending an email to Géraldine Lissalde. To suggest a new file to be added to the database, please contact Géraldine Lissalde. We have now come to the end of this online tutorial. We hope you found it interesting and thank you for watching.